What would Man. you say is the best piece of advice you gave to someone? I would say, um, so I'm 25. So from what I'm doing, I talk a lot with my friends in my age group. And I'll tell them that we're at like a crucial point in our lives where like one wrong financial decision could weigh a lot in the next five to 10, 15 years. So that could be buying the Mercedes Benz you want because it looks nice, but you know you can't afford the car payments and now your credit's messed up or the wrong real estate play or just spending your money not wisely. So I would say what I, the smartest piece of advice that I've given is just to be smart with your money at our age and make smart decisions, invest more than you spend, save more than you spend, things of that sort. And start early. Don't wait. It might not look like a lot, but by the time I'm 35, 40, if I start investing now on a weekly, monthly, whatever basis, it'll look like a lot of money. And I, and I know, you know, one of the big things that, uh, you know, is talked about a lot is passive income. Mm -hmm. And you're involved in some passive income streams, one being like vending machine business, right? Yeah. So I actually just started the business in September. And the way that worked is um, the power of relationships. I think that's very important, too. So just I mentioned it earlier, my first job I ever had outside of college was that missions officer a missions advisor job at Broadcourt. And that was through my relationship with Seth. I was able to get an interview with things of that sort. So for the vending machines, I actually had the business plan prior to Corona. Then Corona hit, that kind of put a pause on it. But I said, I don't want it to stop now. So I actually brought it to Earn Your Leisure. We're actually business partners now. So it's EYO vending. Um, we have five vending machines at our old high school. We give back 50% of the monthly profit to the senior class. So we all attended there as a way to give back. And at the same time, it's passive income. So when I go to Mexico next week and I come back, my vending machines will probably be sold out, refill them, and you're able to make money while you sleep. It's very important. Brave Beer Nation!